Hi guys, Steph here. Okay, what have we got for you today? Well, we've got the first one from the recent pen haul I did, or the video that I showed you. This is an absolutely gorgeous Parker Vacumatic Junior Fountain Pen. As you'll see in a moment, it's what we term as a speed line filler. Okay, now it comes in this absolutely beautiful, what they term as azure blue colour. And you can see, there you go, in absolutely gorgeous condition. I've fully restored it, cleaned everything. Unfortunately, um, you can't actually, I always find it difficult to actually film these, but it's got a lovely barrel clarity as well. But as I say, I've cleaned everything internally. We've put a new diaphragm in. We've cleaned the nib, the feed. Basically, we just literally took it all apart and cleaned everything and gave it a lovely polish. But as I say, we've got the Parker um, Vacuumatic Junior. Now, the Junior, as you can see here, comes with two sort of narrow cap bands to the bottom of the cap there. It's got the very recognisable Parker clip there. You can see it's got what we term as a split arrow clip, which is self-explanatory. To the very top there, we've got this black jewel to the very top there. If we twirl it round for you, you can see the blind cap also has this lovely jewel to the end as well absolutely gorgeous pen now the Parker Vacuumatics they came in lots and lots of different variations as I say I believe this one's the Parker Vacuumatic Junior I believe there were actually um, if you like there was, there was three sort of generations the first one was what we term as a lockdown filler the second one I believe was this one which is a speed line filler and then the third one which had a plastic button to the end was what they term as a third generation. But this one, the Speedline filler, is from around about 1937 through to 1941. Specifically, 1941 for this pen. The reason being is, if I look over the, bar over the camera, let's show you the barrel imprint. Let's keep it nice and still and I'm hoping you can read it it says from left GOS Parker Parker Vacuumatic to the middle and then to the end made in USA and then what you'll actually see to the very end it has the number one with the two dots the number one let's give you a different angle the number one is indicating that this one is dated 1941. So we can be quite specific, dating it 1941. Okay, now as we said, um, this one is made in USA. The size of it from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel, around about 129 millimeters capped. Around the diameter, it's a lovely. 12 millimeters in diameter now i believe the parker vacuumatic major was a similar size pen the difference being the trim was slightly different but this one as we said is the junior fountain pen let's unscrew the cap for you let's give you a couple of the customary twirls as i say in beautiful condition in this lovely azure blue pearl colour. Okay, let's take you up to the section. You can see it has quite a smallish section there. And if we show you the nib, the nib is the sort of typical nib for this particular pen. It's what we term as the it has the sort of the inlaid arrow as you can see there and then to the bottom not not too clear for some reason um whether it was actually printed 
sort of lightly, I don't know, I don't think it's worn, but to the bottom there it has Parker USA, which again is correct for this nib. Let's give you a sideways view, let's show you the feed, we've got this sort of ladder feed to the back there, as you can see everything is lovely and clean as it should be. A lovely sized pen, it's not the largest of the Vacumatics, it's not the smallest, but it's a lovely, nice, comfortable pen to hold. As we said earlier, this one is what we term as a speed line filler, which means you can see there's the blind cap, and you can see there's the filler in the pen itself, and again. This is what we term as the second generation speed line filler. And for you people that don't know what we do, we dip the nib and a little bit of the section in the ink and we press down numerous times on the filler and that then sucks the ink into the barrel. And these pens, for you people that don't know, actually hold a nice amount of ink. Just a shame that I can't actually get you the right angle to show you the lovely sort of transparency of the barrel. You can just sort of get it a little bit there. Now I'm not going to fill the pen um, because I'm going to leave that to the new owner. They can actually fill the pen with whichever sort of ink they prefer but let's do a bit of a writing sample be interesting to see how the pen writes because it's the first time for me as well to see how the pen writes so let's just do a bit of a dip dip test and what we have is a A Parker Vacumatic. We're dating this one 1941. The second quarter of 1941 to be precise. Let's dip it again. Made in USA. And as we said, in this lovely azure blue pearl colour. Does it have any flex in the nib? I would say no. It's uh, quite a hard nib, but A lovely, lovely writer. It's actually writing lovely and smooth. I'm more than impressed. So there's a writing sample. I would say it's writing with, I would say maybe on the sort of the fine side. Fine to maybe medium. But again, a lovely, smooth writer. So let's pop that to one side, let's pop the ink to one side and what we'll do, we'll flush the, the nib out once we finish the video. So there we have it, an absolutely stunning Parker Vacumatic Junior in this lovely azure blue pearl with gold plated trim in absolutely stunning condition. So I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as much as I enjoy showing it to you people. Don't forget, don't be shy, leave a comment down below, give it a thumbs up as well if you don't mind and last but not least down below if you possibly can please support my work.
and don't forget all you people out there we've got a little bit of a virus going round so please stay safe but for now I'll just say bye bye for now <laughs>